651 starting her day on 959 as are you starting your day on 959 is Mishali she's straight out of KZN a beauty influencer as well as a digital queen and a graduate of Lysof guys hey I went to Lysoff and dropped out. You graduated. Well no, done. No, I dropped out. You dropped out? Yes. Oh, we're, dro- we're, we're Lysoff <laughs> dropouts. Oh, my gosh. Look at us. That's the school of Rich Amnesi, actually. Mm. Oh, yes. The school of Rich Amnesi. School. Yes, it is. It is. Mm. Leaders in the science of fashion. It's not just an ordinary fashion Jeez, school. science of fashion. Yeah, this is the science of fashion. There's maths and science in fashion. And you wow. have to really, really get it. Michaeline Damase knows a thing or two about fashion. We know that she is very much entrenched in the beauty space but also she's very much influential in the fashion space as well and uh, she's one of the most influential faces in the beauty industry so we're saying now uh, she's making us say hi to her live audience on her insta live already she says to me say hi to my loves and but some people are still tuning in how already tuning in 2000 and more people <laughs> on that live that, I'm like, you 2000 people because i've seen celebrities do lives and there's like 10 people there <laughs> and i'm like yo bro just video call all of us you know? <laughs> what's the point of this live now this oh, is a zoom. live how many people <laughs> now <Bible teams. laughs> no, 2700 people it's wild it's wild <laughs> misali your name Shut has up. gone from misali ndamase to misali hot topic ndamase your, in twitter, your, handle, your yeah. twitter handle yeah in your own words why because you know there's just been a lot of talk right now so i'm just like Ish, since i'm the hot topic yes Anna, let me own it so might as well own it right? yeah. how do you feel about the stuff that's being topical about you because um, you read of course you read I and do, it's your life but you i know. also try not read too much into it mm. but like everyone is entitled to sharing their opinions that's what you sign up for in the public space so um yeah that's they're allowed to share they're allowed to talk yeah yeah, yeah. and how do you filter all of them out of whatever it is that you might be processing. Because I do imagine, yeah. obviously, you're human. Yeah. There's certain things that when you read them, mm-hmm. they do cut deep and they do hurt. Do you ever feel that way? I think I'm glad that I came into this space at a point where I was just about sharing my craft. And that's what it's always been about. My personal life has had nothing to do with my business. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't yeah. seek validation from people, especially in that aspect. So yeah. I really try and not let their opinions get to me. And also, I feel like I've built a successful brand to this point. Yes. Outside of all the noise, and I'm just going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going with her. She's going absolutely nowhere. She's hanging out with us, starting her day on 959. As are you, Mishali. Hot topic, owning it. Damase, I love a bad, bad like you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Own it, girl. Own it. So this is Silk Sonic. Leave the door open. Mishi here was singing off air. Is this one of your go-to songs, no? You just no, like it? I just like it. Is it? Do you have it on your playlist? No, I don't. Is but it? it's one of those songs that was so popular on radio and stuff that when it plays, you just have to pop along to it. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite mm. nice. So, Michali, you have a very special relationship with your mother. Yes, I do. Right? And I love the fact that we've uh, addressed the pink elephant in the room. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, she's a hot topic. Now we can move on. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you've got a really, really beautiful relationship with your mother. Thank Let's you. talk about that growing up. Um, was she also in the beauty industry? Was she? No, did she inspire any so of this? She definitely did. My mom was in the fashion space. She studied fashion designing and business. Uh-huh. So um, considering it was a completely different time, she really had to fight to pursue that career, especially coming from a very traditional family. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I think another reason why I have such a great relationship with her is that when I wanted to go into the beauty space, she's the one person in my family who had my back on some, okay, I'm going to let you pursue your dreams. You know, when uh-huh. someone really believes in you to an extent yeah. where if you said I want to brand oranges, Michelle, and sell them, she'd probably be like okay nana how are we going to pursue the business wow. that's so dope she's such a supportive person so i think that also really helped with our bond mm-hmm. mm. and did you have a great relationship with your dad yes. before he passed no on? my my relationship with my dad was very touch and go because mm-hmm. um he relocated to the uk when i was very young mm-hmm. so we would communicate but i mean you know with the distance especially mm-hmm. if you're not someone who's traveling back and forth often mm-hmm. it's difficult to have a relationship mm-hmm. and at what point did you like d- decide or know that the beauty space would be your space was it before you even went to fashion school did yeah. fashion school have anything to do with that because i mean you're one of the first like people who pioneered you know making a living from this youtube thing yeah thank you um well i knew about the beauty space when when i was really young i used to do things like steal my mom's lipsticks and went uh, into like school camp yeah and then as i got into high school it was around grade nine you know when you're in boarding school you have access to the internet and whatnot mm-hmm. i discovered the online beauty community so that's when i knew at that point that i wanted to pursue the space but i didn't know how to monetize the space mm. so monetizing it was very like touch and go and learning 
as I got into it while I was studying um, a part-time makeup course at Lysop. So that's why I actually even went to Lysop. I was doing like a fashion marketing oh. degree with a makeup course. And when I was done with the makeup course, I was like, chuck a do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her name is Michale Ndamase, now known as Michale Hot Topic Ndamase on Twitter. She's a beauty and fashion businesswoman and influencer with over 3.2 million followers on Instagram as well as Twitter. Yes. And she's starting her day on 959. Hey. Hey, this is Michelle Ndamase. This is Michelle Ndamase. And I'm starting my day on 959 with Dino and Soul. Indeed, she's starting her day on 959 and we're just about to wrap up with uh, Misali Hot Topic and Damase. Misali, you are CEO at Malachite. Yes. And um, you say that the name of the company was inspired by the stone Malachite. Mm. What is the company about? What's the business about? It's a beauty specialist platform. So we basically mm. created the Uber of beauty. And this is something that wow. I wanted to do since beginning um, of my career. Yeah. But I actually started working towards it during COVID because I feel like firstly already there's a lot of disrespect in the beauty industry mm-hmm. and not a lot what of kind? people afforded opportunities just not it being taken seriously as a career so after mm. um, lockdown happened and the pandemic a lot of people lost their work of places and mm. already now your rates are being discounted and the disrespect is further so I was like you know what why not create a platform that's going to give people more opportunities a fair mm. chance outside of like having a social media profile where it's all about numbers I like that. I absolutely like that. Is it serving cosmetic brands or makeup artists? Makeup artists. I like that. Um, barbers, nail technicians. Dope. Uh, yeah, so we're still going to be expanding though. Uh, we get to a point where we are giving people a, a platform to sell product as well. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. You also have your own cosmetic products, right? No, not no, yet. No, not yet, not yet. I thought you did. I don't know coming, why I thought you coming. did. Are they coming? Mm-hmm. Please do bring them. I will, Please do sure. bring them. Yeah, yeah, I have, a, I have a good feeling. I owe it to my loves. Right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I... I think outside of just makeup foundations and so forth, you had a foundation or still have a foundation? I was. The She's a makeup artist. Family. Always yeah. says foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> wow. And then he's so proud That's of himself. Look at him. Um. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yes, I was um, a co-founder of a foundation, but I did move away from it to start my own. So yeah. I'm working on starting my own foundation that I also want to link to various things that are going to empower women. What sort of things that empower women? Um, I want to have my own sanitary brand to mm-hmm. help wow, girls in beautiful. underprivileged communities. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the, it's going to have the same name as the foundation. And um, hopefully one day I can have my, my own shelter. Oh. Yeah, so those are... Wow. Shelter for children, that I want women... To Children, women, yes, and I'm definitely not going to leave out men as well. I'm going to find so. various ways to help men. I like that. I like that for you. But I see you nodding there when she speaks about sanitary pads. Oh yeah, um, yeah. because I think we we do have another pandemic when it mm-hmm. comes to women who, or, or especially young ladies, who sometimes have to miss out on going to school because exactly. it's that time of the mm-hmm. month. Yeah. So when you have women who are in Mishali's position where they can actually assist in this particular. Very important. Important. It's very, very important. I think so as well. I think so as well. Michali, thank you very much for uh, joining us and starting your day on 959. Lastly, a woman, a young woman, you're a hot topic, mm-hmm. day in and day out on Twitter, mm-hmm. right? Your name says it all. Would you say that the noise that surrounds you week in and week out at the end of the day mm-hmm. is um, adding positively to your brand and its popularity, its growth, mm-hmm. its trajectory? Mm-hmm. Or is it, um, do, do you experience light and shade of negative impact? Is there such thing as bad PR in your world, in Misali's world? I do believe that there is, to an extent, bad PR because at the end of the day, things that are said can have some sort of harm on your brand Mm -hmm. but at the same time um, it all depends on what you have established your brand on especially if your work speaks for itself Mm -hmm. and whatever it is that people are trying to give you negative PR on has nothing to do with how you've established your brand Mm -hmm. then it's just going to be PR I I know that brands always panic you work with a lot of brands and when one of the ambassadors or partners trends you know even if it's for just nonsense they panic how do you communicate with your brands that yo we good. If you're being harmful, then you'll definitely have an issue with your brand. I've had conversations with my brands and I haven't done anything harmful. I haven't spoken ill on anyone's religion. I haven't. Mm-hmm. So, I yeah. mean. So, yeah. yeah. So, they understand. They stick by you. Like you're a team. We need, right? we need a more brands like as that. Well. Shout out to my brands. Love you guys for the support. Absolutely. Yeah. Just in closing, a uh-huh. message to South African men from Mithali. What would you like them to know? From um, the heart of Mithali. 
treat women better Stop killing women Stop abusing women Stop raising, um, raping women There's nothing wrong With consensual sex You guys shame women For having consensual Thank sex heavens, man. But at the same time Crazy, You right? guys Want to strip that away From people When it suits you And I think Just respect Ooh. women Overall You guys have mothers um, Women are nurturers They empower people And they give so much love So can you do the same for us Couldn't have said it better What a way to wrap up Starting your day on 959 Misali Hot Topic Damase Namaste Damase <laughs> <laughs> I must say that's a good one <laughs>